And as you have seen us in the past draw, and I will draw once again, we recognize again there is God. And we draw him you know, as a triangle because he's a trinity. In the unity of the Godhead, there are three distinct persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And indeed, holy, holy, holy is the Lord. In contrast, there is man. And we know that we are sinners and all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We know that heaven is the primary location of the presence of God and that heaven is holy as well. So he convicts the world of sin and thus our need to believe in him, of righteousness, the very righteousness you need to get to heaven, and of judgment, we'll see that in a moment, for the prince of this world is judged. And so God is holy and man is sinful. Now, we recognize he gave the Ten Commandments in order to show us how holy he is and how sinful we are so that we would see we are separated from God due to sin and that the penalty for sin is death and that no amount of good works we do could ever outweigh the sins for all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And thus of God, who is holy, and the penalty for sin is death, gave us what we deserved. Without God and his grace, without Christ, we would be condemned forever to the lake of fire or hell. And this now sets up, as it were, the wonderful message of the gospel and what Jesus Christ has done for us. For as we think of that, we recognize that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And that Jesus Christ came and died for our sins, past, present, and future. He cried out on the cross, it is finished, as sin was paid in full. He did this in order to provide for us the gift of eternal life. For remember, eternal life, salvation, forgiveness is not a reward for the righteous, a gift for the guilty. And the moment we put our faith in Jesus Christ alone, God saves us by his grace. We shall not perish, but we have eternal life so that we know we're going to heaven when we die because it doesn't depend upon our works, a church ritual, efforts to keep the law. It depends solely on the finished work of Christ who died for our sins and an important aspect to the gospel, he rose again. And thus one is saved, not by getting baptized or going to church or trying to keep the Ten Commandments. One is forgiven, not because they've asked Jesus into their heart or repented of their sins or anything else. But they did change their mind about Jesus Christ. They did put their faith in him alone. Not faith in Christ plus, but faith in Christ, period. And thus they received the gift of salvation. They received the gift of the Holy Spirit. They were forgiven all of their sins. They now become a new creation in Christ, and they become a member of the family of God, and they become a member of the universal church, the body of Christ. 